the number one skill that basketball players neglect to train is something that I'm going to tell after I tell you this story that I will then relate to how this skill is super undertrained. And if you are able to train this skill, I can guarantee you, you're going to start getting results and achieving the goals that you want to achieve. And so I just had this opportunity come up and I'm going to share a little bit of a business story and then I'll kind of share how it relates to uh, basketball and becoming, you know, better at basketball, right? So with that being said, I just got an opportunity to, you know, go into business with something that aligned with my values. Now, this would have been a great opportunity for me to, you know, promote a product that I believe in and at the same time help me make money, right? Great. Now, at the same time, you know, you may have a vision, a dream, or a short-term goal. Now, let's say your short-term goal is to make JV, right? And not only to make JV, it's to be a starter on JV. And you know exactly what you need to make JV. Now, let's return to what the skill is. So the number one skill that is neglected by basketball players across the world when they're trying to achieve their dreams is their attention. How great are you at managing your attention? Now, let's go back to my story. My story, I got an opportunity, right? I got an opportunity to potentially, you know, make some more money, promote a product that I believe in. Now, here's where we all often go wrong. We take, we, we chase these shiny objects. And I know you know about these shiny objects because you're on TikTok, you're on Instagram, you're watching YouTube shorts, you're seeing all these different moves, these combo moves, things you can add to your bag, right? Those are shiny objects. And let me tell you why. Because if I took this opportunity to promote a product where I could make some more money and is a product that I believe in, I only have 24 hours in a day. So with my company, with BTG Basketball, with the podcast, with you know being a fiance, right, and being a JV basketball coach, in addition, I now have a nonprofit, BTG Athletics Foundation. So how in the world Am I going to still be able to grow my attention, my focus, my priorities, those four things, if I then choose to give my attention to this other opportunity? And there's not anything wrong with that opportunity. I'm not mad at it, right? I'm not mad at the person that brought that to me, right? It just doesn't fit. My attention needs to go where my priorities need to go. Now, for you, right, and I was talking about when you're on Instagram, when you're on TikTok, and you are watching, right? Oh, look at this. I could add this to my bag. And how many times do you see? And, and, and we as creators, we have to use it because we have to grab your attention. So I'm technically telling you how to not pay attention to me, which really in reality is probably something I shouldn't be telling you because, you know, I, I want to get your attention because that's how I end up, you know, getting you to watch my content. But here's a secret. All of the content creators that you are watching they want your attention. They want to grab it. This is the number one skill you need to know. This is the number one skill you need to know. How did I hook you in? The number one skill that you neglect, right? And it's your attention. Like, I grabbed your attention. So, what in the world am I talking about now? Now, you need to know what your priorities are. So, I want you, you're going to take an exercise. And if you really want to know what your priorities are, you're going to do this. And if you want to master the skill of attention, you want to get to that goal uh, of becoming a starter on JV, you need to do this. You need to do this, or JV or whatever it is, right? You're going to take a piece of paper, blank piece of paper, right? Now I'm going to go here, like, like right here, you know? If you don't have that, if it's lined, it's fine, right? Two columns, okay? I'm going to go two columns. On one side, I'm going to write top three priorities. Now, let's talk about you right, who wants to be a starter on JV, and I'm going to relate it exactly to basketball. Okay, so my coach told me I need to be a better shooter, I need to be a better decision maker, and I need to be a better on-ball defender, all right, so when I'm in my individual training sessions, that's what I need to do. Oh, but I just saw, I just saw um, a trainer, one of my favorite trainers online, Lethal Shooter, he just posted a, a, a handle workout, actually, and, and I'm going to start adding this, right? And so what happens is 
when we start to chase those shiny objects and we add them into our training routine, well, that's great. Our handles are better, right? But that may not be the role we're going to get to become a starter. And we neglect. So if I'm putting in that time to work on my handles, it means I am not putting in time to become a better shooter. So your attention, your focus. So on one side, you have your priorities. On the other side, it's your distractions, right? So what are those distractions? And those priorities can be different, right? You could be getting an A in math, right? What's distracting you? Is it this device? Is this distracting you? All right. Because you know what? There are a ton of different apps you can find, right? I just found this app. It's called Root. I don't know. I'm, I'm in this free trial. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not, they're not even sponsoring this. I wish they were sponsoring this. Um, well, I haven't done it. I'm on the free trial, right? I don't know if I want to invest in it or not. I haven't checked Instagram all day. I've been trying, but it like blocked. It locked me out. So if you can find an app, right? Maybe it's Instagram. There are a ton of apps where you can be like, nah, I'm, I'm not scrolling, right? That's, I am guarantee that's going to be one of your biggest distractions, right? So when we're going through those priorities, right, just know, know what's most important and, and be as specific as possible. So what I want you to do, I want you to share with me in the comments below, what are your top priorities, right? What skills do you want to get better at, right? And be specific, like I want to get better at finishing. That honestly, it's very elementary. And if you're in elementary school and you're watching this, that's fine. That's where you're at. Now, if you're a high school, JV, varsity, right, what about finishing? Do you need to go off the two feet? Do you need to finish better over taller defenders? Do you need to initiate more contact? Do you need to be with your left hand? I don't know. You know. So you need to cultivate self-awareness on what you need to get better on. And so appreciate everyone for listening and watching. And you're going to comment below what distractions are getting in your way maybe we can provide a little feedback and thoughts on on how you can execute that because if you want to achieve right being a starter on jv or getting an a in math you need to focus your attention on that and you need to cut out the things that are distracting you appreciate you make sure you subscribe we teach you how to maximize your basketball skills and how to maximize the basketball experience so you can then be successful beyond the game. Coach Furtado out.